Now that you've chosen the realtor to represent you with the purchase of your home, you will start to put together the rest of your team. If you're in a state like New York, that's going to include a loan officer and real estate attorney. You can ask your realtor for a recommendation. If they've been in business for a while, they, you know, they've had experience working with different loan officers, different attorneys, and they're familiar how everybody works to give you a really good recommendation. Now you're not obligated to use that referral. You still have the option to interview two professionals of your own choice or maybe get a recommendation from a family or friend, uh, research somebody up online. And then once you've interviewed all three, you can move forward and feel confident that you're making the best decision for yourself. I would say there's about three main things you want to look for in a team. And it would start with making sure each professional is familiar with your market. This is going to help ensure that they can fix any issues or prevent any issues when it comes to your contract, your title, or loan underwriting. And you want to make sure that your team can communicate in a timely manner. There are many instances in this business when a deal is time sensitive and it needs immediate attention. Now you can't expect them to drop whatever they're doing every time, but it's not unreasonable to expect them to get back to you within 24 hours. Now people get busy, people get sick, people take vacation, understandable. They should have a team to back up your team. So in times when people, you know, your specific loan officer or your attorney has an issue where they can't get back to you, they should have a team and have somebody set up that can effectively communicate for them during those times. Here are a list of questions that you can go over when you're interviewing loan officers. If you'd like a copy of these questions, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll send that out. So when choosing your attorney, I like to advise all my clients to find an attorney that focuses on real estate law. Most attorneys are knowledgeable in a few areas of law, but focus on one or two specific practices. And we want to make sure that your attorney is well rehearsed in real estate law. Okay, so that's going to wrap up step two. The next video, we're going to start talking about pre-approvals and why they're important. So stay tuned.